Portal 2. And we're gonna, I'm gonna continue with the Portal series, because I, I like it. It's a fun game. It's a fun series. And, uh, if you hear noises in the background, that's the neighbors setting out fireworks. It's still technically the 4th of July when I'm recording this, but whatever. That's not important. The important is, I'm about to play a game. We're gonna have fun. Because yes, fun is required. It is required that you have fun. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door at any time? Hello? Are you going to open this door? Because it's, it's fairly urgent. I'll just open the door! That's too aggressive for me. Hello, friend. Why not open the door? Ah! Oh, God, God. You look te um. Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I'll have space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, 
Hey, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um... At least you're a good jumper, so you got that. You got the jumping on your side. Um, yeah. Just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. All right, Sh sure. Y you don't. You don't want to. All right, me? off you go. All right then. Go on, just march on through that hole. Send me into the hole. Sure. Yeah, it's all right. Go ahead. All right. Good luck. Hello. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, Two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt.
I remember. So it took me a little bit to figure it out. But I did it. I got it. We got it. We're good. We're good. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to reason. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. It's not there. I can't see it though. Maybe it's it fell there, off. Dude. Do you want to go and have a quick look? I can see it from here. It's not. It's not there. It's all right. No, go on. Just have a look about. Dude, dude, look, look. look. No, that's right. It's over by the podium. Yeah. It's not there. It's not there. If you just okay, just stand by the podium and just look up. What? Are you serious? That's it. Yeah. No. That's it. Yeah. You're the dumbest robot I've ever. Oh! Okay. Hello? Your Can you see now. the portal gun? No. Also, are you alive? Here. That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Uh, that, that Go team. Yeah. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Yeah, whatever. Buddy. Uh, oh, look. Art. Angry. And the cube. And the thing. And then the robot. And the cake. Remember the cake? Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one.
If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you.
Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, you! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage, are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Yeah. Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Yeah. Here I am. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so get ready to catch me. All right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? Yep. One. Two. Three! That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. Yeah. I am not dead. I'm not dead. Congratulations. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Go on, just jam me in over there. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Right open. While your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Hello. Oh, no. Yes, hello, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. Hello. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A: sit here, do nothing. Option B: go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know, I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story, you're up to speed. Don't touch anything. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Uh -huh. 
Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note: no braces on your spine either. So so don't land on that um, or your head. No braces there. That could that could split like a melon from this height. <laughs> um, so do definitely focus on landing with your legs. Can I, quick question, have you been working out? Because, I'll be honest, there's no evidence of it. You know, I'm not, I'm not like just a plastic cup. Uh, we will be landing with some force, so a uh, bit, of, bit of grip. Just using grip, classic grip. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grip, we're all fine. That's tremendous. I wanted to drop you. See if you bounce like a beach ball. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Let's go in. You know what? We are out of time. So I will see you guys next time.